All right, people. Let's cut through all the uh, BS and let's get to it. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have uh, one of the guys that started, not only one of the guys, the guy that I, in my opinion, started the whole UFC. Oh, he, you know, he might not have been the first pusher, uh, person to push the button, but you want to know what? I can tell you this. Uh, he was the guy that made things happen. He uh, wasn't the figurehead. He wasn't the wallet. He was the guy making uh, the event happen. He was out going out finding out fi- finding fighters and finding out what people wanted to see. And it was quite a different animal compared to what it is today. And it's all about the truth. And uh, if you don't like it, I don't give a flying fucking rat's ass. I'm very, very fortunate to talk to David and see what he has to say about things. He uh, usually doesn't get out and talk about things, but here he is, the one and only David Isaacs. It is David Isaacs, the originator, the planner, the man that made the UFC. How the hell are you doing? I'm doing fine. Are we are we on the air? Is it, we is it are. Dead or is we this a preamble? are. No, this warming is warming me up. We're live, so everything you say is recorded. It's like Ferguson. Everything you do, <laughs> you're seeing. Anyways, you are the man. You weren't the wallet. You weren't the mouthpiece. You were the COO, banging down the walls, making it go down and get crazy. The only thing that I have any 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 problem with is your allowing Keith Hackney to have the eagle talon claw. That was right up there. You have to admit, you have have to admit right now, so in the current UFC, you miss things like the eagle talon claw. I think people do. Like, you know, the mystery is gone. (laughs) You know, it's like uh, somebody pulling stuff out like that that you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what that thing is. And, uh, you know, right now everybody's now is like, oh, cross train this, cross train that. We know this, we know that. Eagle Talon Claw, man. That Ex- thing was, you know, ahead of its time. But yeah, explain the fucking Talon Claw for the listeners. Oh, man, let me tell you what the Eagle Talon Claw was. <laughs> okay, now you picture Hackney. He's a, he's a really big man, and, you know, um, at some point in time, I, I have a faint memory of him, but he had like long hair, so he looked like he actually looked like he had eagle feathers, and he'd put his talon up and he'd bend his fingers, or his fingers, or he would bend them into a talon. But anyways, it was scary as all be tell. Come to think of it, he should have been wearing like a red glove or something. Yes, yes, a red golfer's glove. Yes, would have been brilliant. <laughs> I mean, one of the biggest moments for me personally at the UFC was coming out in that arena. We were at the Odd in Buffalo, and, uh, you know, we'd sold more than 10,000 seats. And uh, they, they call it the pop or whatever in wrestling. I mean, with, when now Tank Abbott walked into that arena, I mean, it was. It was an amazing. It was an amazing moment to see how one night of fights had turned all of these, you know, people into Tank Abbott fans. I mean, it was a big pop. <laughs> no, it was a real deal, and it was a it was a very cool moment, and it was the first time I'd ever seen the audience react like that to somebody. So it was uh, it was pretty fun. And then I thought I, you know, I thought during the night I might be killed or uh, he might do something crazy and so drunk uh, you know there were a lot of things going on at the same time but uh, that walking out you know I still remember the, the, the feeling actually because it was uh, it was amazing 